Hey guys, it's Julie. I am with Josh and we are about to take Duncan on a little downtown walk. Uh, it's a little hot out, so we're not expecting to see too many dogs, but we can still focus on overall state of mind. Um, this is going to be an area that he walks frequently since they live downtown. Um, so we're just going to be focusing on heel position and ignoring distractions around him, focusing on us, and maybe if we do see another dog, keeping him calm. All right, here we go. So we're walking down Patrick Street. Um, we've got Josh and Duncan. Duncan's in a nice little heel position. Um, what was happening though, as soon as we got out of the car, and this is so common, dogs are in a new exciting place, he starts pushing the heel, meaning he's constantly inching up. Um, he's really pushing that position. If we want uh, our dogs to stay in follow mode, stay in a true heel position, we have to correct all of those attempts to be forward, okay? So what Josh is gonna do, or did, is every time Duncan gets out of position, he's gonna tap the e-collar, guide him back with the leash, okay? And if he's still pushing, every time he has to do that, it goes higher, all right? And so now we've created this dog who is in this nice heel position. He's respecting uh, our command and it's very enjoyable to walk. So the idea is when a, when a dog's pushing, if I know that they're, they're pushing me, they're trying to go out and head of me, then I will, I will do what we call setups. So I'll walk fast and I will let the dog go out in front of me by slowing down abruptly with no warning. The dog will end up going out in front. We correct on the e-collar and then give a couple pops to move the dog back where they're supposed to be. And then we'll do that a few times. We'll speed up and then we'll slow down. And you can see he's with me because I did it a few times, good boy. And this is what we call setting the tone and getting our dogs to check in with us. So we usually do it within the first 30 seconds of a walk um, because that's usually when the tone needs to be set, right in the beginning. So that's a good one. You speed up, you know your dog's pushing, you know if you slow down, he's gonna wind up out there. A nice firm correction on the e-collar and then some guidance back. And you continue to do that with your speed until you notice, good boy, your dog, and you can do side steps, good boy. Until you notice your dog is paying so much attention to you that this walk feels easy. They're working harder than you are. And then you can continue on your walk. And at any time you feel like your dog's pushing again, you repeat. And so it really cleans that up nicely. It looks great. Yeah. Oh, he's really with you. So I can turn all the stuff and maneuver without having to worry about about uh, the dog home. Nice. Duncan in this really nice heel position without much distractions, without many distractions, like there's not really any other dogs around and he struggles with pretty severe leash reactivity. Um, by keeping him in this nice relaxed position, state of mind and heel position, I'm already setting myself up for success when we do see another dog, right? Because what are the odds that he's going to go from zero to a hundred? However, if I had him pulling me six feet ahead, and he sees another dog and he's already amped up, odds are he's probably gonna have an explosion with barking, lunging, growling, biting his owner's ankles. Um, so that's why we, we like to keep our dogs nice and relaxed in this nice calm position as our baseline. Sets you up for success. 